Hi everyone, I'm working in my paper bag journal today and I got all kinds of leftover uh, scraps of paper, mostly black and white. That's what I want to start my page with to have some details, interest in the back. I also got a music sheet and this is uh, some daily paper that I've stenciled this. And what I'm going to do is just I start gluing pieces all over uh, my page you can decide not to go with this technique <laughs> you can just take some either stencils or stamps and just add some um, details in the back I'm just want some uh, black and white in the back and I could it could it can go either way it doesn't have to be with scraps of paper I'm just using uh, them instead of uh, adding more to my stashes so I'm just taking from I will take from each a, a piece and just put on my page this is without planning the only thing uh, that can be considered planning is that I will try to distribute from the same a uh, page or scrap uh, in several places so I won't have only in one place something Okay. Using uh, scraps like this in the back, the thing that is that I like is that it's adding some texture to the whole page. But as I said, it do you don't have to. Most of it will get covered. It just adding details and I'm trying to use uh, the pages that have straight uh, edge to put them where I have straight edges like so otherwise I really don't care just putting down randomly I don't want to to see uh, straight edges in the background let's see My music sheet is not uh, completely white, but as I said, most of it will get uh, covered, so I'm not really concerned that it's not completely white and it has it, it yellowed a few times, so really doesn't matter. I even I'm even considering. Uh, adding some scraps of a uh, paper I have that are colored we'll see J right now I'm in the black and white zone and just putting down wherever I think it's needed did I put glue underneath <laughs> haven't not concentrated haven't just put it down without even putting glue okay let's see I want a little bit more of it of the music sheet I really like it I'm in 
I'm going to leave some uh, space in between uh, my pieces. I don't want to uh, cover the whole thing. Because this is a black background with uh, white elements, I'm keeping it, I think I'll keep it to the edges. I don't want it to overwhelm the inside of my page. I'm in frame and you can see what I'm doing not that it's so interesting tearing par <laughs> paper and gluing it down but okay let's take some of this Okay, so I, I think you got what I'm doing here. I uh, am going to keep gluing these pieces until I'm satisfied that I have enough interest in the back. And I'll be back. Okay, so finished uh, putting down the pieces and I've got some gesso here. And what I want to do now is go around the pieces and just add a little bit of the gesso to uh, also push uh, the, the, it back and also make it uh, more blended and softer in, in the background especially pieces like the black one that is very has a very uh, distinctive edge and I hope with the gesso uh, to create a softer look in between all the pieces. If I haven't uh, mentioned uh, when I started the page, this is my paper bag uh, journal and I've already, before I started the video, I've already uh, gessoed my page only because I was not interested in the brown this time I wasn't uh, interested in uh, uh, the brown paper bag showing so I'm just moving in between the pieces and adding gesso I'm even thinking uh, uh, after I'm doing this to take a baby wipe with a little bit of gesso and going over the pieces to push them a little bit more uh, into the back. We'll see. Because I'm also I'm planning on adding a uh, paint and it will already uh, push everything back so I'm not sure if I need more gesso on top of all these pieces so as you can see I'm just going around and mostly over the edges of each piece and trying to make it look more blended more uh, softer And you can do, uh, you can put as much as you want or less. It really depends on what you 
like to see on your page. You can even cover completely if you feel that something is bothering you and you don't like it. Okay, I think I'm uh, almost done here. Maybe just a little bit more of the gesso. A little bit more here. And let's see. Yeah, I like it. Maybe here a little bit more. But basically, this is it. So I'm going to give it a blast from my heat tool and I'll be back. I'm back. So uh, at the last minute when I was drying everything, I went with a baby wipe and a little bit of gesso over uh, the pieces not all of them just to tone it a little bit down i've got some uh, acrylic paint here i've got some turquoise magenta and some uh, orange and what i'm planning to do now is just uh, play with the uh, with the paint here i have a brush with water i want to it to be a little bit translucent so I'm going like this another way to go about it is with again a baby wipe I'm not overthinking it just putting down some paint And if I've got too much, I can always uh, take a little bit off and switching between the colors. Not, I haven't cleaned much my uh, my brush. I like how uh, this color mix so. I don't feel the need to clean my brush so I will have a perfect uh, color. I like how magenta and turquoise go together. Mm -hmm. I need more. I'm leaving the orange for the last. I only want a little a uh, splotches <laughs> of it on my page don't know how to call it Now I'm a little bit wiping my brush. I want to go and start using my orange. And I like how it mixes with magenta. And we'll see. As I said, I'm just playing. More water. Too much water. <laughs> I think I will need to add some of the magenta. It got mixed too much uh, with the turquoise. As I said, this is playing 
like I've played with the pieces before I'm also now playing with the colors okay So I'm now adding a little bit more of the magenta in several places. I really like how this color is mixed together. seems like I've put too much water before but it's better this way that I can add where I want and not try to remove something later it's easier to add than to remove okay let's see do I want to add a little bit uh, from the turquoise maybe just switched you can probably hear my boys in the background starting from home because of the lockdown Okay, I think I'm finished with the paint. I'm going to let this dry and I'll be back. I'm back. So, what a lovely mess. I love this stage. It's exhilarating and it's frightening because it's a mess and you are always concerned that you can't pull it together. So, next on my uh, page, I've got this... Uh, face on tissue paper it's I just took tissue paper put it on a magazine image and traced it nothing to it and I'm just roughly going to cut this out of the tissue paper and I want to glue it down on my page now tissue paper is when you are gluing it down it's a little bit uh, it's a little bit translucent which is good but not completely so I think uh, I'm just removing a little bit of it so I won't have a lot of white here we go so glue and let's see I think I'll put it here so lots and lots of glue really you really need to if it you are using either tissue paper or paper napkins it's uh, better to put a, a lot of glue in terms of that you are sure you've got a complete coverage if you don't you get air bubbles now most of the time you can smooth them out but it's better to have a complete coverage and not start dealing with it. Now wrinkles I don't mind but the air bubbles are just messy. Okay so I've got my image and now I'm starting to put glue on top like with paper napkins and I'm moving from the inside towards the outside you 
use the flat of the brush to uh, smooth it out as much as you can and use a soft brush so you won't drag the tissue paper same thing with paper napkins Once again, I need to uh, wait for it to dry. I'm going to blast it with my heat tool and I'll be back. I'm back. So, I've got my uh, image here and I want to add some stamping in the back. And I'm using a archival ink, black archival ink. And of course, butterfly is always good. I love butterflies, so here we go. And it's going to be quite random again, it's part of the background. And basically, I think you can say that by um, stamping now it will bring uh, everything together because there will be all these elements that are repeating and coming together let's see let's put one here and it doesn't uh, stamp well right now don't care moving on <laughs> It's just part of everything and it really doesn't matter right now if the print is great. And I want some flowers. Let's see, let's take this one. Okay. So you can see I'm uh, stamping quite randomly. Yeah. Okay, I want some leaves now. <laughs> Just having fun. Just use this one and maybe use the smaller one later and let's see I thought about stenciling uh, the leaves or something but I don't know just grabbed this stamp and went for it it really doesn't matter it, whatever you have use it I'm uh, now uh, using the stamp of leaves uh, mostly to the edges it adds to the hole and also framing my page so and I'm just changing how I hold it so it would be more interesting
I will change now I've got another just smaller one most important thing is to play with what you have here I'm letting it be for now maybe I will add more uh, later on now I want to stencil my words and I've got this stencil and I don't know how much of this will uh, show it's very very thin but uh, let's see I'm an artist I paint with my fingers texture makes me happy I love drippage Building layers tells my story. I experience color. I make mistakes beautiful. I see what others cannot. I live inspired. Really like this stencil. And I got it from AliExpress. Most of my things are either from the cheap store or from AliExpress. I've got some black paint here. And I've got a makeup sponge. And let's see gonna start I'm not sure I'm in place let's see good enough so I'm going to start and I'm dabbing the makeup sponge and it's uh, better to go lightly and dab it time and time again so you don't have access took me a long time <laughs> to uh, master this thing. I remember when I started stenciling, I got so frustrated with all the spillage I had underneath that there was a time that I stopped using the stencils. But here we go, using lots of stencils these days. Just need to go easy on it. And I still get spillage from time to time and you can always somehow fix it or just move along because it's not that important. And if I'm lifting it and I see that it's not black enough, I can always come back. It's better to come back than have spillage. But well, again, even if you have, you can always fix it with all kinds of acrylic pens and permanent pens or leave it be. So I've got my work cut out for me here going all over this stencil. So I'm going to continue and come back when I'm finished. I'm back so I stopped stenciling here because it just didn't take a so well with as I said it was too thin to take a, the, the acrylic paint and it was just not worth it I had left black uh, paint here so I just went around the edge with the same sponge just to frame everything in and just some final touches I have a little bit more a gesso here I'm just going to add it here oops too much I had too much on my brush it's not important here just little detail that I decided to add maybe I'll even a uh, add just a little bit of color to the lips and 
moment let's see if I can do a dot inside okay that's better and let's see I've got some water soluble oil pastels that I think I can use here and just gently adding and using a brush with water because I really want it to be translucent and very soft just a hint of color like so and let's see where I've got some white from the tissue paper that I want to disappear once again just adding where I want it yeah I'm just again playing where I think something is needed there is no a uh, uh, rules or any thing that dictates how it goes and maybe just a little bit of colors a uh, color in the eye and let's see if I can be I need to be very gentle I'm taking the brush and just no can can hardly be seen maybe I should have uh, taken some a watercolor pencil or something like that or even a felt plan and just colored the eye but good enough as I said little details it really doesn't matter in the whole uh, scheme of things here I think I'm gonna leave it be I like how it's going how it looks and I'm going to bring it uh, closer to the camera so you can see all the details in the back I'm loving it I like how what I've glued in at the start like the music sheet and all the elements are peeking through through the layers the light is not great don't have much um, uh, this is it thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments below I'll be seeing you in my next video bye for now